Hello everybody, today I am going to be doing the three color challenge. And so basically I just have to choose three random colors and then I have to draw something with those. And because I really want to try to make like a really nice piece of art, I'm adding a few more rules. One, I can use different hues and shades of the colors. Two, I can use black and white. And three, I can use a graphite pencil to do any sketching. Okay, but now let's just get right into the video. So right here, I have a bag full of markers, and I'm not going to be using these to actually make the drawing, but since they're already in a bag, I'm just going to be using them to pick the colors, and then I'll be using colored pencils to actually color my drawing. Color number one, color number two, and color number three. All right, I got pink, brown, and green. Okay, I don't think these colors are that bad, so let's just get started. So I'm kind of in the mood to draw an animal, so maybe... Like, bunnies can be brown. Here, I'm just sketching out some ideas. Or, ooh, horses are also brown. So maybe I could do that. Okay, but like, how would I incorporate pink and green into this? Well, maybe if there's like a horse, can decide the position later. And then maybe just like a really big field of pink flowers with like a lot of green, obviously, too. That could be really pretty. So with this idea, I went on Google and I found some images for some inspiration and I found a really cool pose where the horse is like this and then it's kind of like facing us but at an angle like that and then the field is surrounding it. Maybe we could have a pose where the head is more down and like towards the body which is still kind of facing us but more turned to the side and then... The flowers are like pretty high up, so you only see like the beginning of the legs, and the rest would be the flowers. I think that could be really pretty and cool. So another problem is the background, because I don't have any like blue, so I'm going to draw like another square, so that's kind of like the page, where I'm going to be doing the finished drawing, and I'm going to draw the horse. So for the background, I think I kind of only have two options, which is to one, either just leave it white, and then you'll focus more on this area, or to make the whole background just the field of flowers, which might distract a bit. I thought about this, and I think I just want a white background, but I think I want to make the horse a little bit bigger so that it is really the focus of attention. So I think I'm going to draw it just one more time, this page being a bit bigger. All right, so I kind of made it small again. Wow. But um, I think I'm just going to shrink down the size here so that when I do the finished product, I know what I really want. Then we don't really need this big box anymore. So I think this is the finished idea. And now it's kind of time to decide on the colors. And so for the colors, I think I want to do a light brown for the horse, dark pink for the flowers, and a mix of light and dark green for the stems of the flowers. Now let's get started on the big drawing. So I just finished drawing it and now it is time to color it. So I just finished coloring the horse and I absolutely love it. But now it's time to work on the flower field and I'm actually really nervous because I am really happy with the horse. But I do think it will make the drawing look better so let's just get started. So I just finished and here's how it turned out. So yeah, this is how it turned out. So, so, so happy with it. This might actually be my favorite and best drawing ever. It does have brown, pink, and green. So I did incorporate all the colors. But yeah, I really love it and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye!